Welcome back everyone. Today we are transitioning from playing Dark Souls 1 to playing Dark Souls 1. Yeah, variety of content on this channel, that's what you get. But seriously, we are going to be moving from playing um, the roguelike Souls mod to playing Of Ashes and Dust. Of Ashes and... Is that what this is called? I think this is called Of Ashes and Dust. Of Ash and Dust? I don't even know. Anyways, this is another mod for Dark Souls Remastered and it's available for classic Dark Souls 1 as well. Essentially what it aims to be is kind of like a Scholar of the First Sin add-on to the first Dark Souls. This is I think made by the same people who made Daughters of Ash, which you know my feelings on Daughters of Ash. I found that mod to be a little bit too pretentious sometimes and too like remixy. Apparently this one is a lot closer to what I imagined Daughters of Ash was gonna be in that it just builds on the game uh, instead of completely fucking it up. I'm at this screen because we already have new changes. As you can see, I named my character Valkorion. I was re-watching the Star Wars... God, I can't even talk. Star Wars Old Republic FMVs, you know, those like CGI little movies, and I was reminded of the Sith Emperor. Cool name too. So, this is where things get different. The classes have different starting equipment. So Mr. Warrior starts out with the axe. Instead of Herald, we have I mean instead of the knight, we have Mr. Herald who uses a spear and has miracles. Wanderer is Wanderer. Oh no, no 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 because he has the falchion. Interesting. Thief. Thief is thief. Mercenary, this is interesting, as one of the shitty looking shields. But he starts out with heavy armor and the greatsword. Hunter, interestingly, starts with the S-Stock. Uh, Sorcerer, Pyromancer. This one starts out with... What is this weapon called? I don't know. Mailbreaker. And the Pyromancer starts out with the whip. The whip. You know what? We're going Pyromancer. The reason we're going Pyromancer is that this game also has a bunch of new spells, which is really cool. And I want to try out the new spells. Plus, I think Pyromancer will allow us to make anything we want. Cool, what do we have? Spurging Stone, Black Fire Bomb, Ring of Sacrifice, Smith Box, Reinforced Weapon at Bonfire, Titanite Shards, White Seance Ring, Red Blossom Ring. A large soul. No master key. Uh, hell yeah, I'm taking tight night. Um, I'm gonna do some like attempt to do some customization. I think so. There is no way this is gonna work out to be anything close to what the dude actually looks like. So I'm going to give up. I mean, this is this is this is Dark Souls remastered. Um, the chances of making a decent-looking character are incredibly small. Truly, truly tiny. So, <laughs> okay, okay, things are things are getting wacky. That's a very... All of these people look like... Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. We're gonna... Turn up the oldness. I don't think you can have facial hair, right? Oh, shit. Did I... Fuck. Okay, here I am failing at the fucking... Character customization. Oh god, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Jesus. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop messing around. We have no time for this. I'm gonna still check the 
Yeah, you do not have facial hair options in this game. Interestingly. Okay, that is an absolutely awful looking character, but we're gonna go with this. I think we can skip, safely skip the cutscene because I don't think that's gonna change. Sorry, listen, we've all seen, like, you guys are here, you've played Souls before, uh, you've seen that cutscene. I'm going to be like laser focused on changes though. Was that burnt corpse always there? See, I'm not sure about... Oh fuck, no, that's new, right? It's been a long time since I've seen this cutscene as well. Uh, so we might be iffy on the details. I should have checked my timer before starting or well, whatever. Oh, the other thing that this mod does is it restores a bunch of the quest lines, uh, including Oscar's quest line. It's like cool little things like this, and you know, again, when I played Daughters of Ash or started playing, that's what this. My feeling was that that was the aim of the mod, but it looks like this mod is more focused on that. Mr. Osukaru. Alright, we can get going. I'm bored now. So yeah. Again, content variety is what you get on this channel. Pulsating Eye of Death. Lure Phantoms in... Oh shit. Eyes of Death are infamous for their repulsive use. Blah, 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 blah. Interesting. What is this? Contract of Katha will substantially increase difficulty. There are those who believe that Keita is in fact a demoness who guides undead towards misfortune. Okay. Leather pouch? Huh? Things are already getting used to collect inner soul f what? Can be used to count deaths one, once opened. Okay, 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 okay. Did I just... What the hell? Okay. We are like 30 seconds in. And things have... Oh, this is treasure. Things have already gone weird. I like it. Megustarino. I wonder if there's gonna be like any fuck around with the kind of enemy placement and shit here. You know. Like whether. Oh fuck, that's new. That's like a different. Hold up. That's cool. It's a different animation. Interesting, interesting. Okay, this is a little bit to process here. Um, I have fireballs, which I think is always the case, right? You just don't start out with your pyromancy glove. What the hell is going on with our, like, cankles or something? Like, did the bottom of the armor set always look like this? What a thick boy. Goodbye, Thick Boy. So we left Thicko behind. But again, um, obviously there's going to be some differences, but... I also expect that we're going to have a standard... A more standard Dark Souls experience, which... Maybe that's exactly what... What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Maybe that's exactly what we need after... Nice, the whip after um, the Binding of Lordran. I do like this choice, giving the Pyromancer the whip, because the whip is like a non-used weapon. Mainly because of this. Like, it hella bounces off walls. It's slow. 
Oh, hello there. You're new. Oh, shit. This thing is gonna suck. I don't think this is even like a different animation. I think the whip always had this animation. Again, the only reason this weapon sucks is that it like mad bounces off walls and I don't... Cool. Cool. And I don't think you actually have a plunging attack with this one. I forgot. I completely forgot. Yeah, okay. This is this is what this mod is doing to me. I'm gonna die if I drop down, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah. No um No plunging attack. No backstabs and reposts either. Oscar What up? In a much better state. You are a godsend to come at this moment. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. He, that godsend line, did he always say that? Regrettably, I have failed. Okay, don't but perhaps you be like all edgy and anime and turn your back. Saying in my family, thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead is okay. Cool. Cool. Yes, I think same dialogue. Maybe except that one line, but maybe I'm just like not remembering that line at all. Um. But as you know, the thing is that Oscar had a cut quest line in the or or was supposed to have a cut quest line wait am i not making sense i don't think i'm making sense he was supposed to have a quest line is what i'm trying to say where he would have like little events throughout the game so that's restored which is super super cool I think, uh, yeah, we'll go like this, but I think I'm gonna mainly fireball the boss. Because the shitty thing I realized is that I can't... I can't, like, repost him, can I? Oh, shit. This is the issue, man. Like, as you know, I'm currently playing... I can't believe I died in the Asylum. I'm currently playing Dark Souls 2, and I think think I think I was attempting to Dark Souls 2 parry I know that's making excuses but seriously oh shit we gotta get rid of this thing quick man like damn I appreciate the sentiment but look at how is this thing bouncing off of anything? This is a whip. That's not how whips work. Yeah. Um, primary objective number one. Let's get rid of this fucking weapon. Um... You know, people, people have been saying for years, what is, what is even going on? God, that's, a, that's kind of a goofy animation, but at least it travels straight. No bullshit about that. There we go. God, this thing is bad. And you know, like, there is an idea behind this. Obviously, you're meant to. Maybe I'm just better off just using my fists, right? At least I don't take fall damage. 
So otherwise, with the whip, I would have. I can't even hit this thing. Yeah, we're going. Obviously. Fireballs are the way to go, I think. The remastered fire effects are looking much better. Maybe because I'm seeing them on the PC. Because I have this on PS as well. I have like five fucking versions of this game, I swear. On like three consoles. But yeah. Um, maybe just seeing it up close on my screen. I'm just thinking. What if we go back to Mr. Oscar? Should we go? Well, you know what, whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go. It's probably the longest time I've spent in the asylum in a very, very long time. It's first time I've died in the asylum in a very, very long time as well. Okay, shut up. Okay, I was I was worried for a second. I mean, this is a mod, so... Um, there is always potential for some fuckery. By fuckery, I mean something going wrong. And these are some balanced ass stats. Nice. -o. I think we're okay with that. Get them two attunements. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say the same thing as you have always have. I don't know why I'm looking at NPCs. Or like obviously, NPC dialogue is unchanged, unless they reintroduced cut dialogue. So yeah. I think what we're gonna do is not fuck around too much. Oh, hello. You are not here before. Ominous coffin. Oh, hey, there's more than one ominous coffin. <laughs> yes. Give it here. Imagine this. How many times has this happened in a Souls game where you are overjoyed to see the mail breaker and are happy to take it? All right, I'm gonna see. This guy was ahead of his time, truly, truly ahead. He knew about that social distancing back in 2011. Morning star, that's also good. Did I just give you all the fucking starting weapons? Cause I'll take that. Oh, hello there. I think the Morning Star might even be better. The Morning Star is actually a decent weapon. Imagine this was just like filled with spikes just to get back at you. Caduceus. Nice. I mean, this one is not gonna have. Well, actually, it does have better defense. Just kind of clashes with my style. The green, you know. Alright. Excursions are worth it. Skeletons are not. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. It has new anime. I didn't know they would change... They would change the animations. That is a surprise. Oh, fuck. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm in trouble. Oh, 
Yeah, I was in trouble. The fucking coffin. Maybe that's just why they're there. Like, fuck you, bitch. Can't pass, can you? Good thing I didn't turn back into human form. It did kind of float through my brain. And maybe it's worth turning back into human form. Hey. Unintentionally smart. That's that's the best kind of smart. What if this is a mimic? Oh, man. I would be like all over this game with creative mimic placements. Believe me. If I ever got control. Unfortunately... What the f... Interesting. Bruh. Where's my Perry? Damn. No wonder I fucking died. Unbelievable. I was like, okay, sure. I was playing Dark Souls 2, but there is zero chance that my parrying skills have deteriorated that much. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. Okay. After the most time I've spent at the Asylum in a long time, this is the most time I've spent in Firelink in a long time. So I think we're gonna human this bitch up. And get going, man. Lesson learned. Lesson number one. Be very careful with shields and check what they do. Because that 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 didn't feel good. Is it that only these small shields can parry? That would be like a real fuck move. One thing I didn't check fully is the... Uh, this thing takes a lot of stamina. Okay. Because I was really worried for a second. I was like, I've completely forgotten how to parry. That ain't the case. That ain't the case. Luckily. Okay, well done. I do like this animation. And I do like that they're not... As monotonous, you know? That's the issue with um, Dark Souls. Like, in general, Souls game animations and that. For a supposed undead warrior, your little dude kind of has shitty fighting skills, you know? The four? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What the ke is this? Can be given to a fairy. Okay. In Lord Run, they serve as a way for communication between the servants of Grave Lord Nato and his ferrymen. The ancient ferrymen are all over Lord Run. However, over time, even the memory of who actually served Nito was lost. Okay. I didn't know we had fairies in this game. Maybe now we do. Okay, so now that I've died a couple of times, what the fuck happens if I use this? Does it just say... I don't know what the fuck just happened. Nothing, I think. Alright then. I was gonna say that doesn't angle up, does it? So yeah, I mean these like varied animations at least make your character seem like they're a semi-skilled warrior. Which is cool. 
They didn't do that with the whip though. The whip still has the exact same thing as it always had. Because what even can you do with the whip? Alright then. So again, this is this playthrough is gonna be a little bit different and that's why I picked this mod to play because the Binding of Lordran was like a hundred percent focused on the Souls game experience if you know what I mean. It was just go through the levels you know fight the bosses everything is randomized and all that this one is gonna be a lot slower I'm gonna be trying to read the lore or at least pay attention to the lore, the new lore we're gonna be looking around a little bit more so it's gonna be a more classic Souls experience instead of again <laughs> nice again just it being pure gameplay the pure gameplay side was fun though um, that is not an issue Oh god, they're really taking a page out of Scholar of the First Sin, right? But just having enemies fucking everywhere. I wish that was... I wish they would have added the Dark Souls 2 fucking shield break. That would be a real tasty addition. Did you see... That was really strange. He had his little Estus in his hand, ready to go. Knock it out of his fucking hand. And this does take a lot of stamina. Nice shot. And they ran like hella blasting me. You know what we haven't done? We haven't done a backstab so far. Weirdly. Okay, so I kind of expect merchants to be generally in the same position. No. They're not. There's a backstab. I think bonfires are... Uh, generally in the same place. There is a full list of changes online but for obvious reasons I didn't really look at that because that would make it not very interesting if I knew what all the changes were. I think That's exactly what I wanted. I was just about to say, can we get a double hit? And we got one. Oh man, why am I even coming here? I should just... Whatever. I should have just rested at the bonfire. Especially since I <laughs> fucked up the jump. Well done, well done. Am I gonna make you suffer through this again I might have to I wouldn't leave potential treasure behind no way so back to these cankles man like look at what is up with the feet it must be the okay it's the armor I didn't know the pyromancer set had like these weird like stank ass like socks imagine going through the swamp in these ah would like the fucking mud oh hey nice I see I knew this was worth it so I bet the people who clicked away because I was going through this again feel pretty stupid right about now but yeah imagine just like going through a oh <laughs> As a little visitor. I did not mean to do that. I completely s screwed that up, but... 
Maybe in the end. It'll turn out okay. So my point was, imagine going through the swamp like these. With like actual socks on. God, that's a gross feeling to even think about. Like fucking wool socks. Let's not even go there. Okay, there's a lot of you here. I think it's safer too. And of course I have like no HP, that's the... The other development, because I'm a Pyromancer, level 1. This worked out almost good. I'm sure there's another one here. I heard him kind of shuffling around. But I guess not. I think that's just my feet. Alright, let's hit up the bonfire because we've made like no progress at all. I wonder if you can... Oh yeah, because this is just a normal door. And by the way, I, I don't think the bosses are changed. What is this? Why are they everywhere? It must be part of some like quest line or something. I'm like kicking shit. Ouch. Did I just get like almost John Wicked? I did. Oh hey Balder Knight. Get parried bitch. Please tell me he's dead. He's not dead. I can watch my combat skills. Watch my fireball skills. I don't think so. I don't think so. And I don't think so. Get on my level. I'm dealing with a Dark Souls expert here. As I've missed all three of these parries. Ooh. That was a crotch hit too. Mace to the crotch. Haven't managed to bleed anything yet. Which is a little bit of a shame. This thing has very good bleed on it. By the way... Aside from the general pyromanciness, I am taking build suggestions. If you've got like a weapon you want to see, go for it. I was thinking something along the lines of like the Murakumo or something. Oh, come on! Ah. That was a. That was a dick combo. Seriously. The stun. I was mashing the shit out of Dodge 2. And it wasn't enough. Looks like they're certainly embodying the scholar of the first sin ideology. Of just having a shit ton of enemies everywhere. But none of them are cyan knights, which is good. How the hell is that fool still almost hitting me? Luckily it's only almost hitting me, but still. Fuck. I've never died this much in the Undead Burg. This is kind of embarrassing. I feel like a noob again. It's gonna be the title of this video. 
<laughs> Smart. Yeah, that's like 2k souls there. Whatever. Yeah, I was thinking of using them too before moving on, but I got overconfident. You really have to like go back to the basics, you know. It's in terms of like being super careful and shit. But back to my original point. So yeah, if you got like build ideas but it's definitely gonna be with the Murakumo. Maybe the Mail Breaker is a better choice. So I'm just thinking. Fuck. Yeah, that's less damage, obviously, but... Maybe with the shitty amount of stamina I have it's actually a better option, you know? It's my logic. Battle Axe. Unlike the Battle Axe, which I think is not a good combination. So it takes like 30 hits to kill a fucking undead. And it does have nice crit. What the f- <laughs> Alright then. Come on, crit. There we go. And crit. I almost died again. That would be like the real... <sighs> Stay cool. It's just a drop. It's just a fall. I cannot be that I've done that to just yote him over the edge. If you didn't know the past tense of yeeted is Yot. Everybody knows. I yoted like two corpses over the wall. Residence key should work here, right? Yeah. Oh, what up? The homeboy is here. Alright then, what do you got? Same things as usual. Mm. I think the rapier would be... Ah, no. Warriors around shield is nice. It's like, do I want to buy any of them? Fuck it. Maybe this is like the... Best of both worlds. Oh, come on, seriously? Fuck it. Never mind. Oh, I can use the S-Talk. Now, that is a game changer. Interestingly, you can use a lot of the weapons. I have, like, the worst stats. Like, level 1. Oh, shit, seriously? I was... So I started like level 1 and I haven't even put anything into my strength and dex. Yet I can use the S stock. Oh yeah, you wanna go there? We can go there. I'm gonna check out what we just picked up, don't worry. Um. What is it? Allows you to buy new ammo from blacksmiths. 
interesting. Oh, fuck. They put a Berenique Knight there. Don't miss the parry. I missed the parry. Fuck! That sucks. That sucks. I'm a little bit... I wouldn't say rusty, but... Damn. That was a lot of deaths. Alright, boys. I gotta make the salty run back. Which I'm gonna do off screen. We'll make the salty run back and then see what we can do. Man, this is a new experience. I'm liking it though. I'm down with this. I'm down with the sickness. Uh, because... This is how I felt... Fe felt? <laughs> this is how I felt playing Scholar of the First Sin too. It, and it was just kind of the same but different. And I think I'm just a little bit overconfident currently. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out, liking especially. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And even if you're not new here, turn on the post notifications or check the bell because YouTube has a habit of randomly turning it off and then you won't be notified when I'm streaming or when I upload another episode of this lovely game. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here once again. Take care all, thanks for watching and peace out. Goodbye.